Hey guys, I want to welcome you to a new tutorial. Today I want to discuss with you about the front kick. It's the most basic kick and the most important kick we can learn. Let's go into the tutorial right away. So, we go into our basic fighting stance. I made a video about this a few days ago, so please check this out first. And from here we have two possibilities to kick, to throw our kick directly. We can use the front leg and we can use the back leg. With the front leg, it's a very important kick. It seems to be a little bit awkward in the first moment because usually your weight is more on your front leg and it's easier to come with the kick from the back side. But in the real fighting situations, this leg is much closer to your enemy, so you can go hit back and go very fast. At the moment you see your enemy is approaching, he's going to throw a kick. You lift your leg up and you kick into his waist or his stomach or whatever, not too high. That's, that's, that's not the idea. So here, from your basic fighting stance, you shift your weight on, weight on your back leg, you raise your leg and you push it out. Always keep your, keep your arms up. So when you're here, you see he's coming. That's it. So, after we've seen this, there's another way of kicking, of course, you can use the back leg. And this is the more powerful kick. And here we have two possibilities. We can use the kick through to the chin or the throat or the face. So a high kick. And it's usually a snap kick. So you come out here and you bam, snap it. So you, bam, you see? It's not that powerful, but my bob is not really suited for that kick. If you have a chin, you can go directly beyond the chin, and that's a okay, KO kick, of course. And there's the possibility of a push kick, where you push to the front. So you turn to your direction, you come here, and you push it. You can, I use my arms to, to counterbalance the weight. So from here, you, you push it. And this kick, should throw him off balance so he's going to fall to the ground. So this is, these are the three possibilities. You can also practice them in a combination. First, you just go to your basic fighting stance, you use your front leg, rear leg snap kick, and front push kick. And so you can get all three of them into one practice routine. The more you drill your kicks, the better it comes. You know? It's really important that you keep balance and you, you make it. So, all three kicks, one after the other, or perhaps with this side, the, we have both protectors. Okay, basic fighting stance, he's good. Didn't hit him too hard. He's good. Low and hard. Low and hard. Let's say he's coming with the open guard, you see? In the middle he's open for a kick. And he's coming towards you, perhaps he wants to make a takedown when you're fighting stand and snap kick. And he's done. Most surely. Or you can use your push kick. Perhaps you are fighting, you are coming just from from close quarter, you are, you know, you are punching, you are in clinch or something. And he's really, he's really off with his endurance. He is nearly going to fall, to fall on the ground. He's not really moving quickly and all the stuff, you know what I mean? He's pretty done. And then you can use your push kick very well because it will throw him to the ground, that's for sure. And then you come here and... And, yeah. Here, right to the chest. So now Lex's chest here. Push your push kick. Right into me. And he's done. Um, one more. So, thanks for watching. I would appreciate if you give me a like, if you subscribe to my channel, and yeah, stay awake and always one step ahead. Thanks.